In today's lesson, lesson 3.3, starting on page 109, our title is Skip Count or Number Line. So this is going to be a, just another method for uh, multiplying. So far we've talked about using counters, and we've also used a, um, basically math facts, where we write like three groups of two as three times two. So today we're going to take that idea and we're going to use skip count on number line as a as a tool for solving or strategy for solving these multiplication problems. So our question is how can you use a number line to skip count and find how many in all? Unlock the problem. Caleb wants to make three balls of yarn for his cat to play with. He uses six feet of yarn to make each ball. How many feet of yarn does Caleb need in all? So six feet of yarn for each ball he wants to make three balls how many feet of yarn in all so how many equal groups of yarn will Caleb make three the three balls of yarn represent three equal groups how many feet of yarn will be in each group six feet what do we need to find How many feet in all? So again, today's strategy, we're going to use a number line to count these equal groups. How many feet of yarn does Caleb need for each ball? He needs six feet. How many equal lengths of yarn does he need? He needs three. So we're going to begin at zero and skip count by sixes by drawing jumps on the number line. So here's the first one, and we stop at six. We're going to count the next six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we stop at 12, and then we're going to add six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's our three jumps of six. How many jumps did we make? Three. Each jump is six feet. So if we were using a multiplication problem, it would be three groups, three balls of yarn times six, which is 18. So Caleb made 18 feet of yarn in all. Why did we jump by sixes on the number one? Each ball of yarn was six feet. our math talk for today. What if Caleb made four balls of yarn with five feet of yarn in each ball? What would you do differently to find the total number of feet of yarn needed? Well, we would make four jumps of five instead of three jumps six. So here we have four balls, so that means our four groups, and when we're using a number line we can think of groups as jumps, and each jump was five feet. So we would make four jumps of five. Okay, let's move on to page 110. Okay, on the next two pages, we see a bunch of number lines, so we know that we're going to be practicing skip counting on the number line. And number one says skip count by drawing jumps on the number line and find how many in five jumps of four, then write the product. So when we say five jumps of four, think of one jump of four showing up one group of four. So when we say five jumps of four, the same thing as what we talked about yesterday as being five groups of four. Okay. So a jump is basically a group on a number line. So here's one, we face off at four. They added four more and they're at eight. So we need to keep going, we need to do five jumps. Right now that's two, one, two, three, four. 
We have one, two, three jumps. Four jumps. Five jumps. So five jumps. There's one, two, three, four in each group. And we stop at 20. Draw jumps on the number line to show equal groups. Find the product. We want three groups of eight, which is the same thing as saying three jumps of eight. So we start at zero, we go to eight. That's our first jump. We need to make three jumps. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three jumps of eight is 24. Any groups of three or eight jumps of three. So we start at zero, there's one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, one, two, three jumps, four jumps, five jumps, six jumps, seven jumps, eight jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times of three is twenty-four. Write the multiplication sentence shown by the number line. So here I see one, two jumps, or two groups. So we're going to list that first. And then how much is in each group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 2 times 9 equals 18 is what that model is showing. Draw jumps in the number line and show equal groups to find the product. Remember, the product is the answer to a multiplication problem. 6 groups of 4 is the same thing as saying 6 jumps of 4. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six. So just make sure you've done six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six jumps of four, twenty-four. Seven groups of three. There's one group of three. Second group of three. Third jump of three. I want to back up here again. Seven groups of three again is the same as saying seven jumps of three. Okay, so one, two, three, four jumps. Five, six, seven. So seven jumps of three is 21. Two groups of 10. Again, that's the same thing as saying two jumps of 10. So 0 to 10, and then another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm sure you knew that 10 plus 10 is 20. But we're practicing this skill. So. so two sets of 10 is 20. Write the multiplication sentence shown by the number line. I see one, two, three, four. Four jumps, or four groups, and in each group there are four. And it stopped at 16. So four jumps of four equals 16. Four groups of four equals 16. So the product of this multiplication problem, 16. In this one, I see one, two jumps. And in each jump, I see 8. So 2 times 8 <clears throat> has a product of 16. 
Yep. Moving on to 112. And number 10. Aaron displays her toy cat collection on three shelves. She puts eight cats on each shelf. If she collects three more cats, how many cats will she have? Well, let's let's start with the three shelves, eight cats on each shelf. So Since we're practicing using a number line, we'll start at zero and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's one jump of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're at 16, and now I have one more jump of 8. 17, 18, 19, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 3 times 8 equals 24. But then it says she collected 3 more cats, so plus 3 equals 27. So I have 27 cats. Write two multiplication sentences that have a product of 12. Draw jumps on the number line to show the multiplication. So here we just want groups that would equal 12. There's going to be different answers. But for instance I know that if I skip count by twos 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, that would get me a product of 12. And so on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 jumps, and in each jump is 2. So you think of some other way. Well, could you do 2 jumps of 6? Yes, you could. Is there another group of factors that would equal 12? Well, you might recognize this one. What if I count it by threes? Three, six, nine, twelve. So that would be four jumps of three is twelve. Someone might say, well, could I make one jump of twelve? Yeah, you could. One times twelve is twelve. Okay, number twelve. Write a problem that can be solved by finding eight groups of five. Write a multiplication sentence to solve the problem. Then solve. There will be eight teams of five during basketball term. How many players in total? Okay, so eight groups of five. So there's a couple ways we do that. We do skip count by five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So I skip counted eight fives. I could say eight times five, and that's 40. I could go five plus five, eight times. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Or I could use a number line and have eight, eight groups of five. So any way you want to do will work. Okay, thirteen. Rebecca practices piano for three hours each week. Three hours each week. How many hours is she practicing? Four weeks. So the four weeks is, is our groups here. So we're going to say four groups of what? In every week there are three hours. So four groups of three is the same as saying four times three. And it's also the same as saying four jumps of three. So four jumps of three. 
one jump, two jumps, three jumps, four jumps, four jumps, every jump has three. So there are 12 hours of practice in four weeks. So simple as that. Uh, a number line is a very good way of solving multiplication problems if you have not memorized multiplication facts. Obviously things will be a lot easier in, in doing multiplication if we just know the, the math facts. And so we should be practicing memorizing our math facts during this chapter. And um, start with the easy ones. Start with ones through fives. And you should be able to do like um, 1 times 1 through 1 times 12, as well as 5 times 1 through 5 times 12. It just makes doing um, these type of problems so much easier if you don't have to count as you go along. But these are strategies that you should use if you do, if you are not familiar with the multiplication fact. All right, so you'll now do your online practice for lesson 3.3. Um, if you have any questions, you can stop and ask me. And as we always say, you can use the video and your math book because the problems are going to be very similar. Okay, so until our mid-chapter review tomorrow, good luck.